guys, now I am here to explain about Ascaris lumbricoids. Ascaris lumbricoids is commonly known as common roundworms. It is one of most common enteric parasites of human. It is monogenetic, dimorphic and pseudocylomate parasite that lives in small intestine of man. Now, in this Ascaris, the sexes are separated and sexual dimorphism is distinct. In both males and females, the body is elongated and cylindrical. Mouth is present at the extreme, extreme anterior end and is surrounded by three chitinous slips. These are three chitinous slips which are surrounded and this is also known as mouth. And close to the mouth, there is a midventrally pore called as excretory pore. But for the female ascaris, there is an extra pore known as excretory genital pore or vulva. But for the Male ascaris, there are two spicules present at the ant, uh, posterior side known as spinal spicules which, which they serve to, uh, to transfer the sperm, spell, s sperm cells during copulation and this is, uh, these are near an anus and it has, an, uh, it has a pore known as a anus at its posterior side. Now let us go to the life cycle of ascaris. It's lumbricoids and its life cycle. Now these are ascaris lumbricoids. After the copulation, the female ascaris releases up to 2 lakhs eggs per day and each egg contain a protein coat surrounded by it and that is why it is known as mammillated egg. These are released by fecal material by the man. And this undergoes first larval stage in soil. This is known as first molting and first rubidity form of larva. And it undergoes development in the soil. And known, it is known as second rubidity form larva. And it enters a new host by contaminated food and water. It directly enters into the small intestine of the man. And the shell around the as ascaris egg gets dissolved in the small intestine. And it reaches into liver by hepatic portal vein. From liver, it reaches into the heart through postcaval vein. This is known as postcaval vein. And again, from the heart, it reaches to lungs through pulmonary arteries. After pulmonary arteries, after the lungs, it again goes and reaches into reaches into alveoli, which are present in the lungs, which are known as structural unit of lungs. They undergo second molting, molting and form third larval stage. Now again I will say this, this reaches into alveoli and these are known as structural unit of lungs. They undergo second molting and form third larval stage. After third larval stage, it undergoes third molting. and undergoes fourth larva and forms fourth larva stage. After the fourth larva stage, it goes into bronchi, trachea, larynx, glottis, pharynx, esophagus and into stomach from stomach it under it goes into small intestine in small intestine it undergoes fourth molting in fourth molting this ascari attains a sexu sexual maturity and becomes young ascaris in just 8 to 10 weeks. From fourth molting again it goes into small intestine and this is known as extra intestinal migration. And in the small intestine, again it undergoes copulation and again 2 lakhs eggs are released per day. Thank you for watching this video.